Hello, Jim Steska here, coming to you from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Thanks for joining me with Jim's Fitness Tips. Uh, last night I talked about having an addiction to sugar. Tonight I'd like to ask you the question, are you addicted to salt? Okay, if you're anything like I was, uh, say six, seven years ago, uh, overweight, out of shape, unhealthy, okay, you probably have an addiction to salt like I did. Okay, uh, not that I use the, the salt shaker a whole lot, but that is an indication. If you uh, put food on the plate and you uh, and automatically go for the salt shaker and pour salt on your food, you probably have an addiction to salt. Okay, uh, if you eat a lot of chips, I know growing up uh, for sure, I developed this addiction to salt because one of the things I used to do, I wouldn't make a sandwich unless I had potato chips to go with it. If there were no chips in the house and I was going to make a sandwich and I couldn't find any chips, I wouldn't make the sandwich because I didn't have any chips to go with it. Okay. Uh, I uh, used to eat a lot of processed meats. Packaged meats are uh, typically full of sodium unless you can find a low sodium brand. Okay, now I still eat that every once in a while, but I do definitely control how much packaged meats I do eat. Okay, uh, if you eat a lot of packaged foods, uh, typically anything found in a package uh, made by man that's not natural, okay, it's typically, unless it's a low sodium brand or a no salt brand, is typically full of sodium. If you eat a lot of hot dogs, okay that they are full of sodium okay so get used to reading the labels checking at the sodium content in your food and you'll be surprised uh, especially if you ever uh, during the course of my fitness journey I definitely have uh, paid attention to this and have tracked how much sodium that I eat and really the maximum that you're supposed to eat uh, depending on the sources that you uh, uh, look at uh, 1500 milligrams is what most people say I, I've seen as high as 2300 2400 milligrams is okay on a daily basis your body still needs sodium okay but you only need uh, a maximum of say 2300 2400 milligrams of sodium a day and if you track this if you track all your foods that you eat you'll come to realize that it is a challenge to stay under that many milligrams of sodium even if you're paying attention Okay, but if you're not paying attention to it, I guarantee you, you're probably eating twice that amount of sodium each and every day. Okay, if you eat out a lot, like I used to do, french fries, if you eat french fries out at a fast food restaurant, like McDonald's or Burger King or any of those type of places, they are t full of sodium, tons of it. Okay, uh, just in one serving of small french fries alone, you're getting enough sodium uh, th th that you're uh, supposed to eat in one day and just didn't have one bag of french fries. So you really have to be careful. Um, if you eat out a lot, uh, they, they, restaurants typically do put a lot of sodium in their foods. Uh, check the nutrition of restaurants before you go to them. Check the sodium content in a dish you might be interested in eating. You'll be surprised how much so sodium is in those dishes. Way too much. Okay. Um, so you do, do need to pay attention to this. Why? Why do you need to pay attention to this? Well, uh, the medical researchers have done ton of research on this and sodium, too much sodium, just uh, too bad for your heart. It's very bad for your heart. It hardens your arteries. Uh, what happens is excess sodium okay, is not processed by the body and it hardens up. It hardens up like a calcium. Okay, And if you have sodium in your bloodstream, it hardens up and, harden, and, and it helps to harden your arteries okay and that's uh, gonna lead to a heart attack or stroke it's documented it's researched okay so it is very important to pay attention to your sodium content uh, in your foods that you eat okay do yourself a favor if you don't know whether you have this addiction or not just try for one week okay use a site that tracks your food okay I like to use uh, CalorieCount.about.com is the one I use uh, when I track my food intake. Okay, and just uh, just pay attention to one thing: pay attention to the sodium content in the foods that you eat for one week. 
okay, and how much sodium that you intake every day. And just eat regularly like you normally would. Don't uh, adjust anything, and you will be shocked of how much sodium that you actually eat, okay? And do the research. Research how bad the doctors and re medical researchers say that, that too much excess sodium is for your heart. Okay, it's the first thing when people start having heart problems, it's the first things doctors tell them, hey, you gotta watch how much sodium you intake, you gotta start eating no salt foods and bland foods and that type of thing. Okay, why do we like salt? Because it helps things taste better. Okay, but what happens is once you start weaning yourself away from salt, eat more no salt foods, natural, vegetables, fruits, okay, uh, meats have sodium content uh, just by nature, you don't have to add salt to them, they have plenty of sodium content in them, okay, uh, you start appreciating the natural taste of foods the way they're supposed to taste. Salt disguises the real taste of food, okay, and uh, it's, a, it's a fact, and, and what happens is once you start doing this, when people add salt uh, to the foods that you eat, say at a restaurant and that type of thing, you start saying to yourself as you're eating it, oh man, this is way too salty. When before, it used to be normal and you used to crave the stuff. Okay? And that's a good thing. Uh, you know that you are on your way to weaning yourself away from your salt addiction when you start feeling that way when you eat foods away from home that you haven't uh, you haven't cooked okay uh, throw that salt shaker away okay I don't even touch the salt shaker I can't remember the last time I picked up a salt shaker and, and, and put salt in my food when I cook meals I don't add salt to them even though the recipe might call for it I don't do it there is enough sodium and salt in the content of most typical recipes that you don't need it Okay, if I do use a canned good or uh, something in a bottle or jar or that type of thing, I look for low salt, no salt brands. Okay, and, and a lot of in the grocery store they do have a lot of those now. Okay, and mainly the grocery stores they really keep it for older people because older people by doctor's orders are on these no salt diets because they've had heart issues. How did they develop those heart issues? Throughout all their life, they ate too much salt and too much sodium, okay? Don't do it, okay? I'm pleading with you. It makes a difference, okay? And you start really appreciating the natural taste of food and, and, and it's the way food should taste. It was meant to taste, okay? But if you have a salt addiction, just like I did, and I definitely did have a salt addiction, okay, you don't realize it. Because you and I was, my family had a salt addiction for sure. My parents, especially my mom, she she uh, definitely had a salt addiction. Okay, uh, her parents had a salt addiction. I know they lived with us for uh, up to I was 12 years old, and they put salt in all their foods, a bunch of salt in the foods they made, and uh, and I grew up eating that, so I naturally developed a salt addiction. Okay. So um, uh, so I realized this once I started uh, getting fit and healthy. I'm passing this information on to you because I, of course, uh, want uh, you to be fit and healthy and to avoid uh, heart issues in the future. And this is one major thing that you could do to help you avoid major heart issues is to get yourself down to the right sodium levels that your body needs on a daily basis. And that really is uh, no more. I try my best to stay under 2,300 milligrams of salt or sodium a day. Okay. And that's just by eating natural foods. There's a natural sodium in all foods, uh, most foods. So, um, uh, so you can get plenty of sodium just by eating more natural foods. Okay. Uh, and, and, and avoiding a lot of carbohydrates have a lot of sodium in them too. So, uh, so I do eat carbohydrates, uh, starchy carbohydrates, but I limit the amount that I eat. Okay, uh, just stay to the serving size that you're supposed to eat, uh, like a half a cup of rice, maybe a cup at the most at a time, a uh, half a cup of dry pasta, okay, at a time, uh, which is not a whole lot in a sitting, but it's what your body needs. It's what you're supposed to eat in one uh, meal, okay? And I, uh, of course, it's like I said, I don't add salt to uh, to anything I'm making. Uh, I make a lot of soup recipes, 
okay um, and then a lot of the recipes call for salt and I don't add salt to those I purposely don't add salt okay and they taste good to me uh, they taste uh, very good because there's plenty of sodium in the other foods that I put in those recipes uh, as well as the canned goods a lot of the recipes do call for certain canned goods I get I get the no salt version or very low sodium uh, version of those and put them and use them in my soup recipes okay um, but that's uh, that's my advice for today and I uh, may God bless you with excellent health and if you want to research any of the beach body products that helped uh, me get into the best shape of my life uh, please do so on the link below uh, and if you wish uh, uh, give me a call if you have any comments or, or questions or any way that I could help you uh, again get into the best shape of your life and help you maintain it for a lifetime uh, have a nice evening Bye.